Today, I'm going to show you how to dilute acids. Now, why would you want to dilute an acid? Well, there are many times when an acid is just too strong and you want to make it milder so you can use it every day or whenever you need it. Now, I'm going to give you some suggestions on how to feel comfortable doing just that. Now, other times, you're purchasing a high percentage of acid knowing you're going to have to dilute it before you apply it. That's really common with like our TCA 30 or our glycolic 70%. And it's beneficial to purchase a high percentage many times because instead of purchasing multiple lower percentages, you can choose to create any percentage that you wish to use. And then next week, you can create a different one. Now, first things first, what are you going to dilute your acid with? Now, most acids, you can use distilled water. But with a beta hydroxy acid like salicylic, you're going to need to use alcohol instead. If you use water, it's going to poof up and make a mess. Now we recommend 90%, which is readily available in most drugstores. And don't worry about having to be a mathematician here. We've gone ahead in our peel manual and done all the calculations and dilutions for you. TCA 30% and glycolic 70% both have charts for dilution. And I'll put up a chart to show you the available percentages of each one. Now, what you're going to need, of course, your dilution chart. And then a separate mixing container. I just have a little medicine cup here. You need a measuring utensil, like a half a teaspoon or I like little droppers. If you make a larger batch, you're also going to need a container to store your new acid percentage in. Now, let's begin by diluting this 30% TCA. I want to make a 15 and this is super simple. Now, my dilution chart says one part 30 to one part water. So I just have to decide what's my part going to be. Mine is going to be one dropper fall. Yours can be whatever you wish. Now I'm going to hold my dropper straight up and I'm going to get some water. Fill it up. And then my cup all the way. Give it a good squeeze, nothing in there. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my TCA 30. Good full squeeze. Drop it in my cup. Squeeze it a couple times. Swirl it around. Voila! 15. Now I can do my peel. Now let's think about that. If you want to cut any percentage in half, you just need to mix equal parts and it's done. Now let's do a harder one. I'm going to use my 70% glycolic and I want to make a 60%. So I'm going to look up my dilution chart. It says 10 parts 70 plus 2 parts water. Now I don't want to use an entire dropper full for this one. That would be too much solution. So instead I'm going to use drops as my part. So. I'm going to add two drops of water. I'm going to go one, two. That's it. And now 10 drops of our 70. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Swirl it around, and now I have my 60. Hey, maybe 12 drops isn't quite enough solution to do a peel. I think I need more. So all I have to do is do it again. I'm going to add two more drops of water. And now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more drops. Ah, that's much better. Now make as much as you need. Think ahead next time if you know you need more. Double your recipe. Do four drops of water to 20 drops of 70 to get enough, or triple it. Only you know how much you're going to need. I want to take just a moment to mention how to dilute other products that might be too strong for you. Let's say you have retinol 0.10% and it's too strong. How do you dilute that? This is also 
super simple. Now, I would suggest to mix it directly with another cream or serum. When you do this, you're gonna dilute it right in half. So I wanna do one pump of retinol 10, two, one pump of whatever you have. I have a Regenerate here. Doop. Mix it together, pat it on. Now you have a 0.05% retinol. So darn simple. On the flip side, if you don't want to dilute your products, apply them in separate layers and keep them full strength. I suggest apply a layer, wait 15 seconds or so, then apply your next layer. Now use these handy tips whenever you need to dilute something you've purchased on our website. Always dilute acids with distilled water. Remember, salicylic is special. Dilute that with alcohol. Dilute creams and serums with other creams and serums. And don't use water. You could be adding extra bacteria or pathogens into your product. And then also dilute oils with other oils. Don't use water or alcohol. Always use your products immediately or store in a secondary container and don't make a lot up. And never put your mixture back into your original container. Now you're gonna damage that product. Now, see how simple that was? Are you ready to start diluting now? If you still have questions, don't hesitate to contact us. We are always here to help you. Have a great day.